Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gale. And in this week's edition, we have the most realistic UK houses I've seen to date. Some fancy market stuff, a few rocks and a jacked up boat. It can only mean one thing guys, let's do this. Up first this week's we have the Pont Steger by General. In real life this building is currently under construction and it sits at the waterfront of Amsterdam. The building itself is certainly a very unique build and a huge, in fact huge building for your city skylines. Up next we have this very cute maize Mexican grill by Calrecki. This model is a very cute design, very small, only 2x2 two two, but perfect for you to plop into those little towns and little nooks and crannies where you want to have a little restaurant. The Kaza is up next with some more market stuff. The last stuff he produced was absolutely fantastic and now we have some strawberries. Fantastic modelling as always, great for any market square. Next up we have Golan K Swee with the Scrat Scrapton. No idea if that's pronounced right but the model itself is beautiful. You'd find this in Stockholm in Sweden and I particularly like the cross design. It's very unique and really makes something different to your skyline. Fantastic work. Up next it's Ronix with some rocks. Now these rocks are definitely something to add into your build. They're very detailed. Not really much more to say, it's a rock, beautiful. Next up we have these beautiful Euro Row buildings from Floyd Blid. Now we normally concentrate on the big and beautiful textured buildings but the small ones are certainly just as important in our builds and these particular buildings not only could be used for houses in my opinion but they could be used as little buildings perhaps in a warehouse area or something just something very small a particular favorite of mine this week is jefferson's grain elevator cargo station by geometry so the model itself is not only just a fantastic model but it's also a cargo train station so trains will actually stop and unload at this particular model Fantastic work as always, and these nighttime shots are sensational. Dub has really become one of my favourite prop designers recently. He's been doing some excellent designs, and who had thought of this? A food caravan. Marvellous. Nita is up next with the Slumville Level 2 Shack. Now this really reminds me of the game Banished, and uh, it's a very unique building. Certainly good for putting onto the mounting sides, I reckon. And up next we have King Leno with the Impact Studios. Now this model is dedicated to the YouTuber Impact who is excellent at designing on this game. But the model itself, I really, really love this brickwork on the sides. The sort of broken down brickwork that's being repatched up, it looks sensational and it's certainly a, a texture I'd love to see more of. Tent Man is up next with these elevated conveyors. They come in a variety of three and each one has a different angle so you can move your goods from a storage to a ship or whatever you want to do. The wonderful Honker is up next with the Blue Cross Blue Shield building. Now if you're a resident of Chicago you'll notice this is one of the major parts of the skyline. And as always, the modelling is fantastic and particularly the night view is sensational. Fantastic work as always. The find of the week for me is Hicks Streamlined Ceiling. This is a fantastic prop and you can use this in so many different ways, whether it's covering up a tennis court or an entrance to a building. A double whammy this week from Mick Crosshill. First up we have the sailboats. Now there's something magical about just watching a boat move with the waves of the sea. 
they look so much more realistic and the models themselves are beautiful. But they don't all have to be floating around in the sea, look at these. And to finish this week, my personal favourite is Mac Welshman's UK House Series Semi-Detached. These buildings have been retextured from prior and well, if you live in the UK, this is like looking out of your bedroom window. These are absolutely beautiful, so realistic, top work. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.